Port Elizabeth. Uh, and I uh, first got my big break when I got spotted in VE. And um, somebody that knows somebody at Bloemfontein Celtic asked me if I would like to come and trial there. Uh, at that time, the head of development was uh, Coach Mole Finseki. Uh, and he had a look at me for two days. And then he asked me, well, would I be willing to move up to the Free State? Uh, and I joined the reserve team at that time. Uh, and then from there I signed for the first team after one season there. Uh, and then after three seasons with Celtic, I joined Arrows. After three seasons at Arrows, I joined Islands Park. And then obviously last season the club got sold and now I joined Pirates. I'm comfortable um, anywhere basically and uh, I can use my left and my right. So I can play on the left hand side, I can play on the right hand side, I can play high up the field. Uh, as a winger, of course, um, and I have been used as a striker before, but I'm more comfortable uh, playing on the sides as a winger. And um, I think now my best position right now is as a fullback, going up and down. For me, um, it still feels like I'm living a dream because um, I would be lying if I say I expected this move maybe a month ago. Um, when Highlands Park did get sold, um, to be honest, I didn't know what was going to happen if I was going to stay with the club or I was going to have to look for another club. But then, um, luckily, when the club did get sold, um, I did get a phone call. <laughs> I won't say from who, but I got a phone call and I got asked, would you be interested in joining the club? So then I said, is that even a question? Because um, I think it's, it's every, every young boy's dream to join a, a club as big as Pirates. I've been here for like two weeks now um, and everybody's been very welcoming. Um, from the first day, the players that's been here, um, because most of the players I've played against before and some of the players um, has actually been teammates of mine, so the transition hasn't been that tough. Uh, with regards to uh, fitting into the style of play and everything, it hasn't been um, such a difficult transition for me because I'm a quick learner uh, and I'm adjustable. So yeah, everything has been smooth sailing so far. I think I'll be able to handle it well because um, I have been playing um, in the PSL for quite some time now. This will be my eighth season in the PSL. Um, so getting used to something like that won't be too difficult for me. Uh, I think I'm experienced enough as well to deal with um, the different kinds of pressure that will be put on me. So uh, yeah, I don't think it will be that, that much of a adjust for me. Well, I think that the, the first one that you spoke about is David Beckham. Um, growing up when I used to watch um, European football, um, I'm a Manchester United fan. So in their glory days, David Beckham was always one of the, the key figures or one of the heroes, if you can call him that. Um, so for me, playing in, in that kind of position, I always used to look up to him. And then obviously as time, as time went on, David Beckham got replaced by somebody else. And then I started looking up to him and um, that being Cristiano Ronaldo. So I started looking up to him and uh, his work rate and his motivation and his drive is, is out of this world. So it's, it's good to look up to somebody like that and I just hope that I can have the same motivation, and the same drive and I can inst instill it within the team and we can um, take the team towards more success. Like I said, I'm a hard working, a hard working player. Um, I'm always going to give my all, that, that's guaranteed. So yeah, I'll just be able to give my all every single game and I won't give up. I know um, all the supporters of the club associates the club with winning trophies. So I think that ambition is always going to be there. And with me also not winning a trophy so far in my career, that's something that I would want to achieve, win as much trophies as I can. And I won't say to be greedy for it, but every trophy that's available, we need to fight for it. Um, because I think that's, that also shows like how hungry you are as a team. Every trophy that's available, whether it's a small trophy or a big trophy, that's where the winning mentality starts. So any trophy that's available, we need to go out there and fight for that. 
My name is Wade Yosta. I'm Orlando Pirates writer.